Hello everyone, Sam is here from MyFirstMagicWave.com again. Okay, <clears throat> today is Sunday. Just sent out uh, the video about the yen index, right? Okay, this is, um, I'm going, you know, scanning all those uh, pairs, po possible setups. Pound Aussie. Okay, I missed this one, I think, last week. Don't know how, but uh, EA is the cause, I guess keeping me busy there okay anyway can't catch all of them right um that's why i'm trying to uh, catch as many as possible today and send it out so you guys be you know aware what's happening and you know take some of those very easy ones now this one uh last week i remember you know pound aussie i said it's gonna go up and you know maybe pounds gonna get stronger and then aussie uh, there was an aussie index uh, I showed that it, you know it's probably uh, probably gonna get weaker, right? Uh, this is going uh, with all the, the those analysis about uh, pound and Aussie. If you look at this pair uh, pound Aussie, uh, last week what it did is uh, it came down to test after breaking this level. Uh, came down after in two weeks just to test this level right here. This is the high you can see. This is uh, 8130. Oh, I have it written here. 8137. All right. Um, and the other one is 8117. So those two weeks, uh, the highest point is 8137. And we came as low as, we made a low at 8125. Right? Exact. On a weekly chart, 12, 15 pip means nothing. So basically, uh, we went up and we went above this level, 8315. Right? We made a high up here. Let's see, for whatever reason, that's not the concern right now. Uh, we, we went up to 9178, right? And then came down back to 8125, bouncing. We are heavily in uptrend. And if you notice that right now we are at 8313. This number here is 8315. Right, the highest is um, this is eighty two ninety four, this is eighty three fifteen, and this is uh eighty two ninety six, and let's see this one is eighty two seventy four. So the highest was eighty two fifteen, and now we are two pips below that. We close Friday, two pips below that eighty three thirteen. Very precise. This pair is moving according to the numbers, right? So be aware of this something else right here. Let me show you. This chair line, which is far now, we already bounced from 8125, so I'm not too concerned about it. We may not come down to see that, but let's see what happens. But right now we are confined between these two numbers. Now you understand this 8137 and 8315. We are very close to 8315 right now as resistance. We are facing it. Let's go on a daily chart and analyze it. These are the two lines of those levels. This two line, 81.15 and 83. Uh, no, what were the numbers? 81.25. What am I doing? 81, the lower number is 81. No, no, no. 81.37. Man, I'm going cuckoo. Okay, 81. Whoops. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. So let me go on a one hour chart and do it. 80. Uh, 81. 37 exact. And the other one is 80. 315, which is here. 14. Come on. Give me 15. Give me 15. Uh, all right. 14. 83. 14. Right. So these are the two lines of those levels. You can see how nice and clean it came down. Posted a doji here. And then went up, and now we are facing this number. If we pop above it, then it's very going to be very clear that we may be able to continue going to the upside. Uh, again, when we go to the upside, then first thing we have in our way is this. Okay, so if you go, if you start going to the upside, because the other one is already broken. Not concerned about this one. Gone history, Fanito. And now we are going up. 
So we might be going up here to this high, then come back and test this level, and then boom. So this is where we stand for now. This is a, a small uh, version, a one-hour version. Not too concerned about that, but look at this one. This is four hour. Okay, so um, you have support here, you have support here. All of these become support. But this one we just saw on a weekly. This is a big one. Okay, right now it is acting as resistance, 83.15. If this becomes support, because this acted as support and it was a very clear support, we should have taken this one. <coughs> uh, not gonna do any good to regret now right so what's done is done <laughs> anyway so <clears throat> uh, was a very good one right <laughs> so okay anyway so now we are moving and then you know just watch out th this one uh, because it, this could be a good one okay if you bounce back and then start going up because anything can happen and whatever will happen will be for a long time after NFP, that's what happens. NFP is just, um, you know, give you uh, basically move for the rest of the month. Okay, you want to play a game with me? And, um, how about this? Oops, no. Just a minute, I want to get this line exact. Close, high, open, I don't know. Got it? No, maybe 286. 15. Oh, 8310 will do it. Okay, so this is where we are now. On this pair, forget about that. Ah, uh, four hour right here. It is started to move up uh, already, right? But uh, it has, I think, uh, plenty of uh, room to go up. So what I do basically is, uh, if you see, um, uh, you take this four hour setup and make an entry from 15 using these indicators it will be nice. So let's see if 15 minute will give us anything soon. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe after dipping a little bit, and if. It dips a little bit, but doesn't break uh, or come down uh, below these uh, levels, important levels. And if they, uh, these indicators, uh, you know, come all the way down and then start going up, then you can easily take it. So not now, but this is what it is. It's important levels, important uh, daily is very, you know, nicely set up. Showing this is called negative divergence, by the way, because uh, you see this price from here to here making a higher low, while these indicators especially this divergence and this high low cross making the lower low okay the opposite so it's called some people call it negative divergence some call it hidden divergence but it is a divergence right so a very good chance for going up from this level okay so this is what i just wanted to show i will send these charts um not this one but i'll probably will send this one uh, weekly chart just for as a, a guideline uh, in the Twitter okay and uh, please uh, any of you uh, who doesn't have uh, you know until uh, now not connected with me on the Twitter please do so because uh, I think I will be sending more and more charts through uh, Twitter because it is very easy for me and I can send more charts all right uh, and I can spend uh, the, the time saved I can spend that in analyzing the charts and finding these kind of setups for you guys how about that okay so please get connected to the Twitter and um, uh, print this one out I'm, I'm, I'm making one video on one pair now okay and charts in the Twitter so that whenever you want to see or you have any your videos in your email right so you have or you can make a folder and save those videos there separate or those emails or download those videos and then you know just watch them because if in one video if I show this okay this is what's happening in this this is what's happening in that and euro is doing this pound is doing that it all gets mixed up nothing separate that you know clear this is now pound Aussie this is how it is uh, these are the levels blah 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 and this is finished right so you have a clear picture what is happening in pound Aussie if you want to see the euro Aussie open a euro Aussie uh, video and 
look at it. All you know, see these weekly charts are good for the whole week, right? So you can watch these again and again during the week and uh, see if you can find entries on a you know four-hour chart setup or one-hour chart setup, and then take entries from there. Okay, I will uh, do as <coughs> as much as I can, but um. Uh, I'd rather give you, you know, it's like a, a the clear direction that where this whole thing is going. And that way, um, you can take the entries very easily uh, in your own uh, time. Uh, I, you know, nowadays, um, uh, usually I, I go to sleep while the learning session is in, in halfway. And, but um, uh, all of you <laughs> living in London or England, uh, you can you know you can stay awake and look for those entries and take it on your own, right? Uh, that way you don't miss if I miss. Anyway, this is it for now. Um, I'm gonna make some more videos, so I'm not don't wanna make it uh, too long. All right. So take this one and um, uh, after right after that, uh, I'll send this chart in the Twitter. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.